Hey, we're going to start off with a holiday survival tip. And by that, of course, I mean a craft cocktail. And for that, we have brought in two of our very favorites, Michael Lee and Val Kisofi. Oh, Jesus Get Christ. Kiosofsky. Kiosofsky. I, I, I have to work on that. I know. So these guys own two terrific bars, Solo Bar and St. John's, co-owners. And um, they're also musicians. Culture Shock. Culture Shock, yes. Guitar. The uh, young young Eagles. Eagles. Guitar. Guitar. Mm -hmm. Terrific, terrific artist. So you guys have had these bars for a long time. And very successful. Solo's been around for what? Ten years now. Ten years? Yeah. And how about? Five years for St. John's. Yeah. What is, we were talking earlier, what is the secret to a successful and good watering hole, a good bar? Ice. Ice, of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, garnish gives you some gravitas. Mm -hmm. as a real Twists, bar. of Twists, course. Yeah. Right. Maybe liquor. Sure. I don't know. So yeah. But there's essential. a vibe, too. I mean, the vibe. Is important. Well, no, the vibe is important, but it's not everything. It's uh, it's just solid food, solid mm -hmm. drinks, and, yep. and good, competent service. That's all that it is. It's also, artists love your bars. Yeah. Theater people love your bars. You've got that uh, pipeline play reading series that's yeah. been going, it's been on, going for a long on for like five years. Yeah. Um, all right, so you're going to do for us. I'm very thrilled. A couple of uh, seasonal cocktails, two, I believe, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, for myself and our uh, esteemed guests. So. Tell me a little bit about what you're going to do for us. What's the theme? Is there a theme? There is a theme. Uh, it's bitterness. We decided bitterness, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Post-election bitterness. Okay, post-election. Post -election. Yeah. Bitterness uh, offset a little bit by the, the Italian sweetness. Just uh, hope for better days. Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, there's no better liquor to represent that than Campari. Mm -hmm. So uh, both of these cocktail, uh, cocktails contain Campari, All which right. is uh, a very interesting Italian liqueur based on uh, uh, grapefruit. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they, their take on, uh, one of them is a take on a classic. Mm -hmm. Our bastardized version of it. Okay. And uh, the other one is a brand new creation of Michael. So, so the, the new one is called what? The new one is called the Sophisticated Millennial uh -huh. for its lack of sophistication. Right. And then the other one is a twist on a Boulevardier, which is a classic cocktail that uh, we call Solo Bars on Roy Street. We call it the Roy Street in shambles because the traffic is so shambling and disaster. so crazy. So Thank crazy. you, Seattle DOT. Right. Yeah. All right, so you're going to put that together. Are you ready to kind of start uh, mixing up? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so while Val and Michael do their liquor magic, we want to show you a piece on Randy Dixon. Randy is the artistic director of Unexpected Productions and Pike Place Market, the longest running improv company in Seattle. Take a look. All right. Get to mixing, kids. Put a lot of that in. 